Hey guys, welcome to another review episode. In this episode, I'm going to do a review about the Wonderfox Video Converter Factory Pro. Before I like to begin, I like to mention some few stuffs about this video converter. That is, first of all, it is a friendly user interface, and the secondly, it has a fast conversion rate, and it can convert both audio and video files and we can also merge those files together and we are merging those files we can arrange the positions of them i'll show you guys show it to you guys later there there, there are there is a large variety of codecs being included and we can also change the settings of the cpu and also enable gpu accelerated processing and we can also create our own codecs so first of all let's begin with the settings that I've mentioned earlier so this is the amount of core number that have been listed there there are the number is 2 because I'm using a Acer Aspire laptop and it packs a Intel Pentium dual core so dual core it means 2 so there are only two cores that have been listed. Now let's move on to the CPU priority section. It is from idle to the highest and of course highest has the highest conversion rate. So I'll set it to highest. And now let's move on to the GPU section. Checkbox, the enable GPU acceleration to increase the speed of the conversion rate. What it does that? Radeon, sorry, not Radeon, GPU, it shares the load of the conversion with the CPU. So the both CPU and GPU cooperate together to finish the conversion in, my, in a smaller period of time. That is it. That's what it's all about. Now, let's add some files to be converted. I'll choose Elvis Presley, Houndog, Lyrics, Official, Music, sorry, Video. So if you guys look this here on the opposite direction of the arrow this shows the information of the original file so currently the format is in mp4 the size is about 4 mac the, the duration is about two and a half minutes and the resolution is about 640 by 360. if you guys look look over here at the direction of the arrows pointing this is the output file which will be concluded after we have chosen the codecs and altered the settings now these two buttons here what it does there the first of all when we chose for example we buy a new movie for instance and the movie is in a spanish it is in spanish but there have been additional two languages been included for example french and english and i when i'm converting those videos I just have to insert the DVD into the DVD tray, navigate to the DVD and I just click on the video. And when I do that, the languages will be listed. For example, English and French. So I just choose French and when I chose French and I finished converting the video, the video will be no longer in Spanish. It will be in French because I chose French to do so. And this is the subtitle section. And for instance, the Spanish movie, there have been French and English subtitles being included and I chose English subtitle for instance. And after I've converted the video, the languages will be no longer in Spanish, it will be in French and the subtitle will be in English because I chose to chose the language, the English language, that is all it does. And we can also add our own subtitles, by our own I mean that we have been downloaded that we have downloaded from the internet all we all we have to do is that click on the subtitle section button click on add subtitle and navigate to where we have placed the downloaded subtitle file and we just click on it and usually the most popular subtitle file format is in a file format or in srt file format and that's it we can choose it edit and the subtitles will be embedded into the video 
end of story finish and now let's look at these three buttons over here first one with the scissor icon the second is the crop icon and the third is the effects icon the first one the scissor icon is is a trimming or clipping the video all it does is that trims or clips the video that is all it does so simple and the second is the second button is the crop button all it does is that it crops the video to a certain section you want to focus the video we can also flip the video horizontally or vertically and we can also rotate the video clockwise or anti-clockwise by 90 degrees that is all it does it's just some um, plain simple video editor and lastly is the, the effects room there are a couple of effects being included and all they does that they play with the exposure of the video the color and the texture of the video that is all it does so they are just some basic simple video editing tools and after we ma managed to edit that let's move on to the codex section and as I mentioned earlier there is a large variety of popularly used codex there are codex for Apple products Samsung HTC Blackberry Nokia Sony and etc 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 but I'd like to mention this one thing any codec listed under the web tab and we choose the codec the file size of the video will be greatly compressed because the bitrate of the video will be decreased and by that I'll show you to guys by decreasing the bitrate means the higher the bitrate the much more larger the file size gets the lower the bitrate the much lower the file size so from my advice about 1500 kilobits per second is just fine it's more than enough the videos quality will be not affected the video will look nice and the file size will be fairly small so there will be no problem whatsoever and since I've modified the codex to my own preferences you can save the file to do that since I've chosen a 1500 kilobits per second bitrate and of course I will use these settings whenever I chose to convert another video to the YouTube codec I can save it and this is what I meant by creating our own codecs so I just type in the name YouTube codec 2 and click OK it will be saved to choose the codec go to the custom tab and click on the video that has been added that's it click on it and it will be added and we can convert it to that codec finished one section finished so let's add some videos and some audios file for audio I'm going to choose the Justin Timberlake TKO song and for video Elvis again I chose these two files to show you guys that we can merge those two and there is one thing about this video converter factory pro whenever we add the audio file before the video file as you guys can see here the song is in front of the video and then we convert it the both will be merged and the output format will be in mp4 so they will be playing like in mp4 video format but there will be no video playing only the song or the sound can be heard but if you plan to put the opposite around with the video first and the song second this conversion will take place but it will only take place until to the 99 percent after the 99 percent the conversion will come to a halt i don't know why but it just happens i can't seem to solve the problem but i'm pretty sure nobody merge a video file and an audio file together nobody does that so I think that is why the Wonderfox company didn't take initiative to solve that problem and that's it guys the end of the Wonderfox Media Converter Factory Pro review episode and please subscribe for more videos like this and please like this video and please please subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed the show and see you guys in the next video
and have a nice day and bye bye